a very special guest with us today, Will Sargent from uh, Echo and the Bunnymen. Welcome. Hi. I'm glad you could join us. Yeah. You're uh, playing tonight at the Paradise. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we were going to have you come in and play live, but I guess Ian is stuck in Chicago. He's absent without leave. Right. <laughs> and we were also talking about your side project, uh, yeah. Glide, yeah. which uh, you said you might do some stuff tonight. Yeah, if, it, if, if there's time and stuff, you know, because it's only like 25 minutes. It's not like a big set and it's just... It's pretty easy. You just set it up and off you go. And it's kind of like it's a cross between DJing and kind of like playing. Right. Really. And what do you use? You were. I use these things called Omnicodes, which are some strange keyboard made by Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, 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 the sounds in them are, are okay. But when, once you treat them, you can get some good effects, you know. And and is this is dance music or ambient? It, or? Very, it's, I suppose it really it came out of like me love of uh, Eno really. All this side of things, you know. Eno's always been a big hero, really. Right. So, you know, since you know all them ambient things that he did in the 70s, you know, music for airports and all that stuff. And it's kind of like that. You've also recorded as a solo artist under your own name, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, that was years ago. I did an LP called Grind, which is quite. You listen to it now, and it's like, it's it sounds like Future Sound of London or something like right. that. You know, it's not. It's it's weird the way it's kind of like, and it's only done on a four track, and I can never understand how I got the sounds because I play it now. I think, how the hell did I get them sounds? Like you know, because I had not, no equipment at all. I had like very little. You know, I used to have a flat with Ian Brody from Lightning Seeds, and he, um, he had a few things like he had an organ, little synthesizer and stuff, and I used bits of his stuff. But there was no desk or it was just straight in the tape recorder, right. four track. And I know Ian just signed to do some solo stuff. Yeah. So will we? On cheap stuff. Yeah. Will you do any solo stuff as well? Or? Well, I, I'm doing stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I always have done, and I always will do. It's kind of like it's always just ongoing. It's just that you know, I never pursue it as a. You know, I only ever do it for my own entertainment more than anything. You know, and it's kind of, it's just like a little outlet. How much time do you get to spend in Liverpool, just kind of, you know, on your own, not quite not a, touring? Well, or? Quite a lot. It's kind of. You know, the thing being in a band is like there's bits where it's dead intense and you're going away for ages and you're just completely away. And then there's times where you, you're hanging around, you know, at home. But, that, you know, they're great times, you know. Sort mm -hmm. of, it's really, you really need that, you know. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you again for stopping by. You're playing tonight at the Paradise.